Hi students, so today we have Srashti Srivastav with us who is doing her BSc Honours in Zoology from Hindu College, Delhi University. And she is going to talk us through everything about BSc Honours in Zoology and related questions. Welcome to Education View 360, Srashti. Thank you so much, ma'am. It's a pleasure. So Srashti, moving on to our first question, would you please tell our students that what is the curriculum of the three years of BSc Honours in Zoology and what are the subjects that you study? All right, so um, BSc Honours in Zoology is a very broad-minded course. Uh, since in 12th, when I actually chose the subject, I was a PCB, a Physics, Chemistry and Bi Biology student in my 12th, and I had my goal was to go into research, so I wasn't really sure about whether to take what course. And when I saw the curriculum which DU offered in zoology, it was the perfect thing for me because it provided a deep knowledge about each and every subject which I wanted to pursue in my further study. So I could choose between those subjects in my master's. So uh, it's a three-year course, as I said. Usually, honors courses last for four years, but in India, DU provides a three-year honors course, which was great for me. So in the first year, we usually have four subjects. Um, so we have basically two core subjects, which are uh, particularly based in zoology, uh, in the biology background. And one is called AECC, which is the activity enhancement um, compulsory course AECC which uh, is compulsory for all the honors courses usually and it's chosen by college so for first semester we other our AECC was environmental sciences and for second semester it was uh, English which also provides a knowledge in the subject Plus, it also helps in my master's study. So now as I'm applying abroad for my master's, the AECC in English is really helping me get through the process. Now, um, as I said, we study two core subjects as well. So in first semester, the two subjects were um, non cordates part one, which is from protozoa to analytes. Uh, the people from biology will know uh, the subjects which I'm talking about. And then it comes to principles of ecology. So um, every subject has a practical component because zoology is a complete uh, practical course. Uh, and the theory, we have credits divided between practical and theory. So usually for all the core subjects, we have four credits for theory and two for practical. So the total credits are like six. In the second semester, the other two core subjects are cell biology and non-cordates part two from um, coelomates, which is arthropoda to echinodomata. So we study in detail about the animal kingdom, what the um, species are and how we name them, basically the taxonomy and everything. Then in the second semester, as I mentioned, my ACC was English. In the third semester, the core subjects are three. So uh, for the second year, we study five subjects and it is a a lot as I said the four-year courses turned into a three-year course so we do have a lot of subjects but it's worth it in the end so for in the third semester we have diversity of chordates we have physiology which is controlling and coordinating systems and the third course subject is fundamentals of biochemistry so um, and in semester four we have uh, comparative anatomy of vertebrates physiology, the second part, which is life-sustaining systems, and in biochemistry of metabolic processes, which is the continuation from semester three. Then uh, in semester five, we have four subjects. Again, uh, the workload reduces a little bit, but again, with every score subject, we also have our practical files, assignments, and presentations. So uh, in SEM5, I studied molecular biology and principle of genetics as my core subjects. And in SEM6, right now I'm studying developmental biology and evolutionary biology. Right. And then do you also offer some side subjects which you have to choose, which are called generic elective. And in the first two years, you get to choose every semester, you can choose your generic electives. So for the first year, my generic elective was botany, which is again a science course, you can take a science generic elective or a non science one. It depends on the credits. Again, for science, the credits are six, 
and for uh, non science like philosophy or economics or commerce english whatever you want to choose uh, the credits are four so for my first year i chose botany in my sem 3 i chose chemistry and um in my sem 4 i chose philosophy which provided because the subject was not re- exactly related to science but i had an interest in bioethics so i chose philosophy and again in uh, the your third year uh, du chooses basically it offers you another set of courses which is called discipline specific elective or dses so in semester 5 we have two dses which are again basically core subjects treated as core subjects but the college chooses so in hindu uh, the dsc might be different from hansraj so my dscs were immunology and animal behavior in chrono chronobiology and in sem 6 they are reproductive biology and animal biotechnology all right great and you once already answered my second question which was about the weightage between the theory and practical exam so you already answered that and uh, so moving on to my next question in that case is uh please tell our students what are the job and career options which are available for the students of bsc honors in zoology or most of you go for research how does it go so basically there are two ways after your honors degree it's basically either do your masters and go into uh, further fields or directly apply for jobs so we have all kinds of people in our course so uh, for a job prospect some switch to mba because as i said uh, zoology is chosen after when you're not really sure after what you want to do after your 12th so um either when you people switch to mba or law you can really go to any field after zoology it's not particular that you have to go to into science field some people zoology some people choose zoology as an optional in their upsc exams that's also a very uh, great way to go ahead if you want to go into government offices and the others are wildlife rehabilitators zoo keepers and uh, there are a lot of options available as jobs but if you want to go into further studies then masters you can do in either core sciences as i said we study molecular biology genetics and developmental biology so it provides a very basic uh, understanding of cell biology and biochemistry so we can go into masters in that or if we want to continue in something related to animals then uh, people usually choose marine biotech or marine biology and uh, go from there uh, or even if after studying 3 years someone is not sure what to do uh, if they are not sure so they usually do masters in zoology even it's a, another broad field but it will help uh, people choose their fields again if they want to do pursue phd or go into academia and um people also do their masters in biotech so that will provide them corporate jobs if they are willing to go into that field so job okay. options are there but again it depends on your interest where you want to go definitely definitely i just tell me from taking the example from your own batch what's the ratio between the students who go in for research and higher studies vis-a-vis the students who take up jobs after under graduation i'm basically trying to bring out the fact that how many students actually sit for placements from the science stream people do sit from placements but uh, like suppose my classes of around 40 45 people so around 20 will apply for masters 10 will go for um, mba or law or just switch fields in general because they don't don't have long interest in any more science anymore or other 10 will either go to um zoology as i said as a general or um again it depends on particular batch and particular people because um one more thing happened with my batch was we got an only like 8 months of practical experience and the rest of the two years are all theory even while sitting we are performing practicals online which is not usually what we aimed for when we got into college so due to covid a lot of interests have changed even my i was like okay i'll go into research only but then after a while when i wasn't able to perform the practicals with my own hands then it got a little 
uh, sad towards the end. Definitely, it is unfortunate indeed that students are deprived of their classroom experiences, which not only brings hands-on experience, which brings in a lot of social interaction, a lot of uh, you know mental well-being. So I do understand that. Yeah. Thank you so much, Srashti, for giving your inputs. I'm sure it's going to help our students. Thanks a lot.